Hi, I'm Mike from the Nature Project Nights. We're working on a steam distillation of herbs right now. And I'm going to kind of break this down for you and show you basically what we've done. This is definitely something that can be done at home. It's not a very hard setup. Some of the pieces can be a little costlier than others, but overall the price of a, a full kit could be anywhere from $200 to $300. It's not a lot of, of stuff that's required for it. So basically to get started, um, I'll just explain a little bit about what you're going to get out of the steam distillation. Today we're uh, distilling oregano, the herb oregano. And what we're doing with that is we're going to get a water soluble source and we're going to get an oil soluble source. Um, what it does is it sends that steam through here. And so I'll just show you the setup. It starts here at the, uh, the Proctor Silex, you know, any easy burner you could purchase at an appliance store will work. And you put your Erlenmeyer flask, so I have two 2,000 milliliter Erlenmeyer flasks here, one for the plant material, um, the biomass, and one to, uh, to basically allow water to steam. And so what happens here is the steam comes up through here, and it comes down through this tube here, and it um, basically causes it to dispense underneath the plant and then it comes up through the plant and then through this tube. So as you can see here I have a little bit of plastic uh, connecting, uh, vinyl connecting the, the copper tubing. I use copper tubing because the last thing you want to do is steam distill something that has like PVC or you know vinyls have phthalates in them. And phthalates can really disrupt the hormonal system in people and can um, severely affect development in children and definitely affect um, hormones and, and you know every age and sex. It's really not good for you at all. And so basically you want to make sure you use something that isn't going to leach out phthalates. This will leach out a little bit of copper, but you know our, our body uses copper and it's not a lot. So anyway, basically what it does is it heats up, sends that steam through here. I have a glass tube that's attached to this, real simple setup, just a real rubber stopper on top. And I use this to set here on the clamp, but it doesn't necessarily need to have that. This is just clamps and the metal bars in the background, but you don't even really need that, to be honest with you. You could set this up without any of that back there. You do need something that's gonna hold your, um, your uh, gram condenser. So I'll explain that here. So as the water comes up, it comes through, that steam is gonna distill out through here. It's gonna come up through this metal tubing and it's gonna come down into this condenser. The purpose of the condenser is basically to cool your, um, your distillation, your steam. And so what it's gonna do is it's gonna come down through these coils and we have water, cold water, pumping on the outside of the coils down through and then coming out into the sink. So you can see here, what I've done is I've set up a little pump right here. And that pump just sends water up to the top of the uh, condenser, the gram condenser, sends it through here. And this condenser online you can find at Home Science Tools for 30 bucks, pretty cheap. So it sends it through here, brings it down, and then it just drains out. So it's on the outside of where the stuff goes through. So basically all your steam, your um, water soluble and fat soluble um, ingredients are gonna be coming through here. They're gonna then turn back into liquefied form and then drip out the bottom into a collecting flask of some sort. Uh, this one's just a simple collecting flask with a stopcock on the bottom that you can turn to let out you know, the water or the oil first. In this case, since the oil's on top, I'll drain out the water. The water is known as hydrocell, and the oil on top is technically your essential oil. Essential oils are volatile oils, they're very strong in terms of their medicinal properties. When we're talking about oregano here, we're talking about antibacterial and antifungal. That's its primary uh, medicinal properties. That's what it's really used for. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take a little sip of um, hydrosol, uh, just straight from the oregano. I've already distilled this out just a few minutes ago. Try it. Now this is great with it if you feel like you have a strep throat or some sort of infection going on. It's great for dental issues, gargling with it. I would use probably more of the essential oil for dental issues or you can get an oil extract as well which will work real well but that's not quite the same thing here. So um, just take a quick drink here. 
That stuff is very, very strong. <laughs> so expect that. But what's nice is we've got mostly water soluble components of it here. And so it's not going to stay. It's not like eating a pepper because it's oil and that oil stays on you and, and just keeps heating you up. This will really, really help if you have an infection or anything this bad. It doesn't taste good, but it's a real quick drink. So my understanding is that the hydrosol will last about six months put in the fridge. I'm not entirely certain of that. You probably want to double check that. So anyway, this is the basic setup and um, it definitely has some really powerful properties and when it's done, I'll drain out the oil and that oil can be used um, to volatize and, and like a little mister or something or you can, you know, put a little bit under your nose or Drop, put a drop in some water and drink it, or whatever you want to do, but it has really strong medicinal properties because you're getting a lot of oil, a lot of real volatile chemicals, but it's really good for the smelling aspect of it too. And it smells great in here. So anyway, that's basically what I wanted to cover, and uh, thanks for tuning in.